Welcome back. Now, John Bilgen, originally from Drumchapel, has an incredible life story. He went from an abusive and difficult childhood to an international BMX star. His amazing journey has now been turned into a Hollywood movie, and he joins us right now. John, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. So much for joining yeah, us. Great to you're see you. Back home in Scotland for Christmas and, and New Year, so it's good for you to come in and yeah. see us. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about the movie in, in just a minute, but um, tell us about your, your childhood, because that is a, a big influence on in, in where you are now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's weird when I talk about it because it's like I'm talking about someone else. But mm. yeah, like my, my first childhood memory is my dad throwing me in a fire when I was three years old. Oh and that's how chapter oh one starts. It's actually, you open the book and it says burnt flesh. <gasps> this is my first childhood memory. That's how you um, think. I mean, I still remember the smell of burning flesh and my sock melting to oh. my foot. Um, and that was in White Inch. That's when we lived in White Inch. That was 1975. And that's when the bin men went on strike. Mm -hmm. So my mum had to rush me down the close through all this rat infested waters and stuff like that and take me up to the hospital. I think it was a Queen Mother or Queen Margaret, something like that. Mm. But yeah, that's my first childhood memory. Oh my so how, how has and how did your life turn around from? From then, from that yeah, um, I mean, the 24th of December 1979, my dad was beating my mum up and I ran into the bedroom with a kitchen knife to mm. protect my mum. And my dad knocked me out, don't remember it. And uh, sorry, 23rd of December, 24th of December, I was then taken away by social services oh from goodness. school. And uh, then three years later, I was in foster care with, you know, my, my parents and, um, you know, it, life changed. My mum and dad took me, my new parents took me to see ET. I got into BMX and I've been doing it for 35 years. It's incredible. You were telling us actually the link to ET, how it's still kind of part of your life now. I know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, um, so ET inspired me to get on a bike. Yeah. Bob Harrow was the stuntman in ET with the balaclava. Yeah. And now I'm the global brand manager for Harrow, his company. And now recently Steven Spielberg heard my story and Stephen has now given us clips of E.T. to be in the movie. And he's never given any clips of E.T. Ah, to be in anything. That well, is absolutely incredible. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, story. This is, we've got some pictures of you on screen right now. Um, that, that's a, well, the one before, I believe, was in Scotland. Yeah, that, the, the one going up the wall, yeah. that was um, in Dundee. That was probably in 92, 1992, and that's actually the DCA. Now, so it was an old warehouse, this yeah. warehouse we used to build ramps in, and now it's a DCA. Yeah. So the movie is based on this book here, yeah. right? It's gorgeous, gorgeous cover here, it's fantastic. How does it feel that it's been made into a movie? And with someone like Ludacris as well, a very mm. well-known star to be part of something I mean, like that. I mean, it is surreal. I'm getting goosebumps even when you say Ludacris. Yeah, there's you like, and Ludacris. Yeah, there's me and Luda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. So you're now yeah. best pals, you can call him Luda. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, he, he doesn't like Luda and Ludacris. It's Chris, Chris yeah. Bridges. Um, you know, we catch up all, a lot, but uh, but caught up with him three weeks ago when we saw the movie, the finished movie for the first time. That's so and uh, and he was like, "Damn, John!" He goes, "Even I was scared of you." <gasps> and I'm like, "In the movie, I play my biological, violent, alcoholic oh. father." That must have been quite a difficult thing to take on for you, no? It, it was. It was the most difficult day of my life, but yeah. it was almost. It was the most rewarding day of my life because I know I'm nothing like that. I'm a lover. I'm not yeah. a fighter. You know, I embrace people around me, they, they embrace me, and it has that ripple Quite effect. Quite a process yeah. for you to get to there, yeah. Exactly. Amazing. When Amazing. will we see the movie? So they're talking about April 2018, but my producer phoned me, because she knew I was going to be on the show. She says, tell your guys in Scotland, we want to um, launch the movie at the Edinburgh Film Festival. <gasps> oh, good. Oh, so that's fantastic. a Hollywood blockbuster that could be in wow. the Edinburgh Film Festival. So that's what, that's what they're saying to me. Say to you. Exclusive yeah. information, there that's we go. amazing. Yeah. John, listen, we oh. appreciate you coming in and sharing um, your story with I know. us. Cause, we can sit and chat to yeah. you all night, it's amazing. <laughs> a horrific start to a story, but it's turned out beautifully yeah, for you. Yeah, what an inspiration. You've, yeah, thank you. you are. Um, thank you for coming to see us and hopefully see you at the film festival yeah. with the Can't movie. Yeah, can Definitely, thank I'd love you so to. Much. Have a great Christmas. Thank you.